On December 26th, 2024, a black tailless shape lifted off from Chengdu, a prototype China calls the J-36, a sixth-generation fighter built to disappear from radar and rewrite the rules of air combat. It's the largest fighter China has ever produced, with stealth first geometry, ram coatings, heat masking inlets, and exhaust, and even rumors of a radical three-engine layout pushing it toward Mach 2. If even half of that is real, this isn't just another jet. It's a strategic message. You clicked to see what makes the J-36 different, and whether it's a breakthrough or a beautifully engineered illusion. Let's confirm the click and dive straight into what actually flew, why its design matters, and where the story cracks. On December 26, 2024, while much of the world was winding down after the holidays, engineers in Chengdu quietly rolled out a black diamond-shaped prototype. Designated 3601, this aircraft wasn't just another test. It was the first flight of what China now calls the J-36, its entry into the race for sixth-generation dominance. The sheer scale of the jet stunned observers. At 75 feet long, with a 62-foot wingspan, and a takeoff weight nearing 119,000 pounds, it dwarfed anything China had previously attempted. This wasn't a small step forward. It was a declaration that Beijing wanted to be seen as a peer, or even a rival, to the U.S. in the skies. The timing mattered, too. Choosing late December, when Western media attention is distracted, ensured the debut caught analysts off guard. Suddenly, questions flooded defense circles. Was this a propaganda stunt? Or a genuine leap into the future of air warfare? And it was only the beginning, because the design itself revealed secrets no one expected. The most striking feature of the J-36 isn't just its size, it's what it doesn't have. No vertical tail fins. No stabilizers poking into the air. Instead, a smooth, tailless flying wing shaped like a diamond, purpose-built to swallow radar signals whole. Early estimates suggest its radar cross-section could fall below 0.05 square meters, a figure that makes even the F-35's one square meter signature look enormous by comparison. In theory, the J-36 could cruise near Mach 2 while staying nearly invisible to modern X and S-band radars. The skin itself is coated in radar-absorbent materials, stretching from the needle nose to the wing edges. Every intake, every panel, every exhaust port is sculpted to scatter and absorb signals. Even the heat signature is suppressed, its engines hidden in curved intakes, and the exhaust gas is diffused to frustrate infrared sensors. If these claims hold true, the J-36 would be the stealthiest combat aircraft the world has ever seen. But stealth alone doesn't win wars. Because the real shock came when analysts looked inside and found something no one expected in a modern fighter. Hidden beneath the J-36's massive frame lies its most controversial secret, three engines. While nearly every modern fighter relies on either one powerful engine, like the F-35, or two balanced ones, like the F-22, China chose a radical third path, literally. Two engines sit in traditional side-by-side -side mounts, but a third is embedded along the upper spine, feeding from a dorsal intake. Together, this tri-engine setup promises brute force, redundancy, and extended range, qualities that could let the J-36 cruise at Mach 1.8, 2.0, while carrying a massive payload. But analysts quickly asked the obvious question, why risk a configuration abandoned by other designers decades ago? Three engines mean more weight, more complexity, and more things that can fail mid-flight. Is China showing off revolutionary genius, or over-engineering a problem it can't solve? What's clear is this. If it works, the J-36 could outclimb, outrun, and outlast most aircraft in the sky. If it fails, it could expose the jet as an expensive, unstable experiment. And yet, the engines are only half the story. Because the J-36 isn't just about speed and power. It's about something far more unsettling. The rise of AI-driven warfare. The J-36 isn't just a flying machine. It's designed as a thinking machine. 
Reports suggest its avionics are laced with artificial intelligence, capable of handling tasks that normally overwhelm human pilots. From autonomous target tracking to predictive threat detection, the J-36 aims to let algorithms make decisions faster than any pilot's reflexes. In theory, the aircraft could coordinate with drone swarms, manage electronic warfare countermeasures, and even assist in navigation and attack profiles, all while the pilot focuses on the bigger picture. Some analysts warn that this creates a fighter that doesn't just react, it anticipates. Framed dramatically, this isn't simply a jet with missiles, it's a flying computer built for war. One that could process battles in microseconds where humans take minutes. And in air combat, minutes decide life or death. But handing decision-making to machines carries its own dangers. How reliable are these systems in real-world combat? Can AI distinguish friend from foe under battlefield chaos? To answer that, we need to step back and see what the J-36 really means. Not just as an aircraft, but as a symbol of China's larger strategic vision. The J-36 isn't just a weapon, it's a statement. At 75 feet long and 119,000 pounds, it's the largest fighter China has ever built. A machine as much about spectacle as it is about combat. For decades, critics at Beijing only copied Western designs. The J-7 mirrored the MiG-21. The J-20 drew comparisons to the F-22. But the J-36 signals a shift. China wants to be seen as an innovator, not just a follower. Its tailless stealth form and radical engine configuration are intended to scream independence and ambition. Strategically, the J-36 fits into Beijing's larger plan, dominate the skies over the South China Sea, and project power across the Pacific. A stealth bomber-fighter hybrid of this size could threaten U.S. carrier groups, disrupt Japan's air defenses, and give China a tool of intimidation across Asia. And domestically, its value goes beyond combat. Footage of the J-36's maiden flight flooded Chinese media, framed as proof that the nation is outpacing the West. Its propaganda, national pride, and military strategy rolled into one. But for all the celebration, quiet doubts remain. Building a plane this radical is one thing, Making it work reliably in combat is another. And that's where whispers of troubling flaws start to creep into the story. For all its futuristic promises, the J-36 may be hiding cracks beneath the polished surface. First, stability. A tailless aircraft that big faces enormous control challenges. Western designers spent decades perfecting fly-by-wire systems to make similar shapes airworthy. China's engineers may have rushed a solution, but whether it works in high-G maneuvers or combat chaos is still uncertain. Second, heat and power. Three engines mean more thrust, but also more fuel, more heat, and more maintenance headaches. Managing thermal signatures while preventing overheating pushes engineering to its limit. Third, AI reliability. Advanced avionics sound groundbreaking, but in wartime conditions, jamming, hacking, full signals, can those systems still tell friend from foe? An error isn't just costly, it's catastrophic. Western analysts are already skeptical. Some call the J-36 a paper dragon, an aircraft that looks terrifying on slides, but may crumble under the realities of combat. Others warn that dismissing it too soon could be a grave mistake. And that debate only intensified when comparisons began with America's own next-generation projects. The arrival of the J-36 immediately sparked comparisons to America's most secretive programs, the F-35, the B-21 Raider, and the still-classified NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter. On paper, the J-36 appears bold, maybe even reckless. The U.S. favors proven systems, stealth jets with decades of incremental refinement, massive budgets, and combat data to back them up. China, by contrast, has leapt into radical ideas. A triple engine setup, tailless design, AI integration, all at once. That gamble could make the J-36 either a breakthrough marvel or an overbuilt liability. If it truly achieves its claimed stealth and speed, it could outpace the F-35 and force the U.S. to accelerate NGAD. But if its flaws, instability, heat, untested avionics, prove real, then it risks becoming an expensive showpiece. 
a symbol of ambition without substance. What unsettles strategists most is uncertainty. America knows its own limits. China? It may have just blurred the line between propaganda and reality. And that leaves the final question hanging over the Pacific. If even half the J-36 promises are real, are we ready for the wars it was built to fight? The J-36 stands as both a triumph and a gamble. Its sleek, tailless silhouette and triple-engine raw signal China's ambition to leapfrog into sixth-generation dominance. Yet, beneath the spectacle, doubts linger. About stability, about reliability, about whether radical innovation can survive the brutal realities of combat. What's undeniable is the ripple effect. By unveiling the J-36, Beijing has forced Washington, Tokyo, and every regional power to take notice. It doesn't matter if the jet is flawless or flawed. Its mere existence reshapes strategies, budgets, and alliances. The J-36 may fly as the stealthiest predator the world has ever seen, or stumble as an over-engineered experiment. But in either case, it proves one thing. The race for air supremacy is accelerating, and the skies of the Pacific will never look the same again. The question isn't just whether the J-36 can fly. It's whether the world is ready for the kind of wars it was built to fight.